Welcome to this calming release class. So today is going to be a gentle, slow flow with some longer held postures to help us calm our nervous system. Maybe you've just finished work or you're headed to bed soon. Um, so I definitely recommend maybe dimming the lights, popping on some incense or a scented candle. And I really hope you enjoy this one. We're gonna start on our back. So feel free to grab a pillow if you want to for your head. And if you do like this class, please do remember to hit the like button, hit subscribe. And for longer versions of classes like this, you can join my membership site, which is called My Mindful Movement, and it's always linked below. Okay, let's get started. So coming onto the back, and if it feels comfortable, bring the soles of the feet together, let the knees butterfly out. Maybe there's a pillow for the head, or maybe we interlace our fingers. Bring them to the back of the head, just let the elbows drop out to the sides and replicate what the knees are doing. Close your eyes or just fix your focus onto something on the ceiling. And just begin to connect to your breathing. Noticing if the breath feels tight or restricted in any way. Maybe it's quite shallow or fast. Without judgment, just feeling into your natural flow of breath. Without forcing it, we're just slowly going to start to slightly deepen the inhale and then lengthen out the exhale just a touch. Breathing in through the nose, releasing through the mouth. With each breath and without forcing it, see if you can just begin to stretch out the exhalation a little further. So this is gonna calm our nervous system and in turn, calm the rest of the body, the mind. Wonderful, when you're ready, closing up the knees and then wrapping your hands over the knees. Give yourself a light squeeze. Make a couple of circles here just to massage into your lower back. Just in a way that feels good to you. Good, circle the opposite way. Maybe the lower back feels like there's a little bit of tension or tightness there from the day. Good, and then bringing the knees into the chest. Gently rock and roll to a seated position. So coming up to a cross-legged position. Sitting up nice and tall, reach the arms up. And as you exhale, come over to one hand side. Slightly turn the chest up. You can close your eyes at any point during this practice. Finding space in between the ribs. Good, inhaling up and then exhaling over. So sometimes if we've had a stressful day, it can really wreak havoc on our physical body. So we might be feeling tight. So see if we can stretch out those muscles in between the ribs to facilitate bigger and calmer breath. Lovely, inhale coming up, reaching up. And then as you exhale, folding forward. So for some of us, this is for forward folding. Maybe you get to your forearms. You might extend your arms all the way out and let your forehead rest down. Otherwise, just fold in a way 
that suits you. No need to force it. Relax the tummy. Feel that opening of your lower back. Good, slowly coming all the way back up and then finding a all fours position. If you've got sensitive knees, pop a rolled up blanket underneath those knees. Spread those fingers wide. Just a couple of rounds of cat cow. So inhale, drop your belly, look up. Exhale round. Maybe today we do it with our eyes closed actually. And just move any amount that feels right for you today. Just moving through any blocked or stagnant energy. Good, and then begin to move in a way that feels good. So maybe that circles with the hips. Maybe you shift back into a child and then forwards into like a seal pose. You decide. Close your eyes and just imagine you're kind of working out any pent up worries. Releasing them from the physical body and then hopefully releasing them from the mind as well. Just reconnecting with your beautiful body. Wonderful, good. Let's find a neutral all four, so meet me there. You're gonna extend your right leg back, turn the right toes out, and then reach the right hand up to the sky. Gently, gently here, we're gonna circle the hand forwards, brush it across the floor, and then up and over. So you're welcome to close the eyes and just enjoy the movement. Or sometimes it's nice just to rest your eyes onto your fingertips. Make it slow. Wonderful. Next time that hand circles up and around, bring it in, bring the knee in, opposite side. So left leg back, turn out the toes, left hand up, and then circles here. So making space in the side body. Eyes closed or resting onto your fingertips. Change or exaggerate this pose as much or as little as you want. Beautiful. And then next time that hand comes up and overhead, circle it round. Bring it down. Bring that left knee in. Spread your fingers wide, tucking the toes. Finding a downward facing dog. So just let your head really hang heavy here. Maybe give it a little nod out. Let's bend into the knees. Breathe in. And as you exhale, begin to straighten just a touch or fully. Good, inhale to bend both knees, send the weight back into the toes. Exhale to straighten. One more time, inhale to bend. Maybe you exaggerate it a bit more. Exhale to straighten. Perfect, let's turn the toes out. Maybe take your feet as wide as your mat. Toes out, bend the knees, and then you're gonna pad your hands all the way back into a deep squat here. Let's keep our hands on the floor and release through that lower back. So maybe that means a little movement side to side. Relax your glutes. And if you want a little extra, you can use your hand to kind of prise open the groin space a little bit like so. 
but no forcing. Be gentle with yourself. You want to keep all these movements really calm and releasing as to not aggravate our nervous system. Maybe we've had high levels <laughs> of stress today, living in that sympathetic nervous system. So let's get into that rest and digest mode. So maybe there's a little close of the eyes. Maybe you'd like to find some stillness. That's uh, welcome too. Very nice, good. From here, we're gonna bring our hands down in front, walk the hands forward, drop the knees down into all fours, and then lower all the way to your tummy. Good, from here, we're gonna come onto our forearms, so the elbows are underneath the shoulders. You can take your feet a bit wider if you want, if it's more comfy. Slightly press the floor away so there's an opening through the chest and the first two abdominals. And then just begin to move the head. So maybe that's side to side. Maybe it's some gentle neck rolls. You might let the head drop down or look all the way up. Side to side. Close your eyes. And see if you can find something that just feels good here. A little bit of free movement. Wonderful. Then bring the head to a neutral place. We're going to do the same with the shoulders. So you're welcome to stay here. Maybe you drop one shoulder forwards and back. Maybe kind of side to side. For some of us, you might take the hands wider, begin to straighten the arms. And it just gives you a little more room <laughs> to maneuver. So maybe that's dropping side to side. Maybe you come up higher. Experiment lower. Just allow yourself that time to explore what feels good in the upper back shoulder area. And we might not always get it right. If something doesn't feel good, please do move away from it and move into something that feels more appropriate for you today. Wonderful, very nice. And then from here, slowly lowering all the way down, we're gonna bring our big toes together and push it on back to a child's pose. So forehead to the mat, sit bones to heels. Maybe you like to use your hands as a little pillow actually for your forehead, it's more comfy. Let your head be heavy. Allow yourself to become nice and small and compact. Very nice. From here, walking the hands back towards you, tuck your toes and then rolling over the feet, you're gonna come into a hanging forward fold. So take your feet a bit wider than hip width, bend your knees and then grab opposite elbows, allow yourself just to hang out here. So you can take a little bounce, a little rock side to side. Allow your head to be heavy. Just any tension from the spine is just drip, drip, dripping out the top of your head. Hmm. Wonderful. Fingertips down to the mat. Turn the toes out. Let's come back into that deep squat just for a brief encounter. And then we're going to sit the bottom down. So come on down. Good. From here, we're gonna roll down onto our back. So hands onto the front of the knees, breathe. And then as you exhale, slowly, slowly rolling back and then sliding your hands down your legs, coming all the way onto the back. Perfect, let's take the arms out into a cactus shape or a T shape if you've got enough space. Bending into the knees, take a breath. As you exhale, allow the knees to drop to one side and then opposite knee is gonna reach towards opposite elbow. Good, and then back through center. Knees drop to the opposite side, maybe the opposite knee. Maybe it touches the elbow, maybe it doesn't. 
But just take this in your own little gentle flow. Just getting a nice twist and a little massage of the lower back glute area. Wonderful. And then eventually, coming back through center, let's bring the soles of the feet together, let the knees butterfly out, hands onto the tummy, close your eyes, soften your shoulders back into the floor, soften the back of the head into the floor. Directing the breath down towards your hands. Take a deeper breath in. Open your mouth, take a big sigh. <sighs> you are so welcome to stay here for as long as you need. Maybe you can pop on one of my guided meditations. Otherwise, slowly bringing the knees together. Give yourself a hug. Hmm. And then gently making your way to a seat. Keeping the eyes closed or half closed. Return to your breath. And just notice what's changed. Bring the hands together at heart center, bowing the head down. Really, really thank yourself for recognizing that you needed this time today and allowing yourself to take it. Blinking the eyes open and welcoming yourself back into the rest of your day. Thank you so, so much for landing on this video. I really hope you enjoyed this practice. If you did, please do hit subscribe for more and I'll see you on another video soon.